Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and of course as uh, continue to play with this Ethan 750 it might as well at the price that it cost um, there is one thing that actually it should have included the uh, shortwave bands you can actually use the ATS scan on shortwave so ATS is the automatic tuning system and what it does is it scans for example the FM band or the medium wave or long wave band and it will log into a memory channel what it finds well it works on shortwave also and you don't have to um, you know even though it's not written it it actually works on shortwave so what you got to do is simply press and hold the shortwave button you'll hear a beep and you'll see the scan start it's a little bit like the uh, modern ETM or Z tuning mode scans uh, that we have it's just that instead it's more permanent channels that ETS uses but it doesn't matter it does a scan and then after that you can actually go back and look at all the uh, stations that it found one of the tricks here very important if you want a good ATS scan on this radio use an arrow filter and make sure that the RF gain is set to a proper level depending if you're using an outdoor antenna or an in or the telescopic antenna if you're on the telescopic, you probably can you know, leave the RF gain at almost full scale or maximum. But if you're on an external antenna, because of the overloading, um, make sure that you do use uh, the RF gain, lower the RF gain a little bit, or use the attenuator. The other thing also is make sure that you don't use the white filter in the ATS scan, because if there are several stations, they'll be logged as one station. I've noticed that it does that on several occasions when stations are close together because it just here's one when there's two that are very very close once again due to the very crappy wide filter that they use with uh, this so uh, just press and hold shortwave button when it beeps and then you'll have a scan like this it does the international broadcast bands only and then you'll have of course uh, the uh, possibility of checking out what stations it found on the bands um, due to its uh, high overloading capability and especially on outdoor antennas uh, you'll have a lot of spurious channels you see how many channels it's actually logging here a lot of them are actually on inaudible they're just noise or or spurious signals because of you know overload of the circuit once again showing how the design of this radio is very very average and not worth the price that it's sold for. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.